Okay, so today I have a pattern for you guys that is something I've been working on for the last few months. And this is a BWO nymph that I've been playing with that is very similar to a France fly with just a few differences, right? Different material for the body and then a CDC hackle. And the reason I've done this is that the France fly tends to fall apart fairly easily. And so I wanted to, to adapt that fly because I really think that's an effective pattern. But like I said, it will fall apart pretty easily, even if you super glue it. Um, I'm only getting about six to eight fish per fly with the France fly. But in this version, you can just go and go and go. The fly basically doesn't fall apart. And that's what I was after. So got a size 16 Umqua hook. This is a 400 BL in the vise. I like this hook a lot with a three millimeter Hannock silver bead. Uh, I tie this fly in a 20 and 18, 16 in that range. Um, and then I'll vary the bead size depending on the water type. So I've got a tailing fiber here. This is a whiting CDL feather. And I'm just gonna take about, I don't know, eight fibers from that. So about like, about like that. Pull those off. So now we got those bunched up. And we're gonna just kinda lock these in with a couple turns up on top. And then we're gonna check the length and I like that. That length is about the length of the body. So I want that tail to either be the length of the body or slightly shorter. So that's the length of the body. I like that, looks pretty good. I'm gonna do one wrap underneath the tailing fibers just to kind of get them to stand up a little bit. Move my thread back forward, trim off the excess. So we've got our tail coming off right there where the, the barb of the hook would be. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is I have a piece of thread here that I've cut off. It's a piece of olive ultra thread. It's 140 denier. And I'm just gonna double this over onto the top like this and push this all the way back to where the tail starts. Move my thread forward. And we're gonna create the body out of these two strands of thread basically. So I've got a pair of hackle pliers here and I'm gonna come in and attach that just like that to those two threads. And then I'm gonna spin this thread with my hackle pliers counterclockwise until we've got a nice rope from those two fibers together. And this will create a nice uh, tapered segmented body. It's kind of a cool uh, way of doing this. So it gives you the same kind of effect as using a midge tubing or something like that, like on a France fly, but with a more durable material. So I'm just gonna do touching wraps all the way up for the body, just like this. And then we're gonna capture that with our other thread. And I'm using a really thin thread to tie the fly with, because I don't wanna create a bunch of bulk. You could tie this with, you know, that 140 denier, but then you would, then you would get a bunch of bulk and we don't want that. So I'm trying this with an 18 knot thread so that I can make a lot of wraps without um, causing any issues. So now I've secured that down there, grabbing my dubbing loop tool here. I'm gonna create a loop here. And you guys will see me do this quite a few times if you've been watching my videos. And I'm just gonna create a loop and we're gonna add a CDC color. This is a Calabatus color CDC, but you could use a bunch of different colors. It's just one I like. Come in, trim off that tip so it doesn't get in the way. Now we take our, take our oh, we wrapped around here. That undone. Okay, we're gonna separate those two threads. Push that CDC up in there close. Just like that. And we're gonna come in with our scissors and trim off that feather. 
and spin this up. It's nice and spun up. Push these fibers back and we're just gonna make some wraps of CDC around the collar. You can vary the thickness of CDC, it's about right. I will kind of tend to that CDC once the fly is done and make sure it's the right length and stuff. Trim that off after we've captured it. Palmer these back a little bit like this and make sure that's really secure. Now I've got some, this is UV tracer squirrel dub. It's UV squirrel dub flash dub. Uh, and this is a medium olive color. I'm just gonna take a tiny little pinch of that. Add that to the front. This just creates a little bit of contrast and create our collar. Now we just whip finish this guy a couple times. Really make sure it's cinched down. Trim off our extra thread here. Grab all these CDC fibers, pull them up, pinch them off so they're the same length and come in here. Sometimes I'll come in here and I'll like pinch off some of the extra fibers if I think I have a little bit too much, but that's it. The CDC thread bodied France fly that has been working really well for me. That's the finished fly. I'll do this in a bunch of different bead colors too. Like you guys know, I like to vary my bead colors. So I generally will do a copper and a pink version of this along with the silver. And like I said, sizes 20 to 16. You could even do a 22 if the situation calls for it. And I'm sure it would work in bigger sizes. I just tend to tie it and use it in smaller sizes. So that's the fly. Get out there on the water and fish it.